Hari Om. So this is a message from me to you. There are those who seek safety and solace in the familiar, who have been scarred and broken and bruised. And it is more comfortable to remain safe and closed. But this sense of safety for them is actually an illusion because it's keeping them trapped in the cycle of suffering and keeping them trapped in a pattern of trying to control the external world in order to achieve freedom. And unfortunately, you can't be free of pain and suffering and fear if you make the world conditional, if you are looking to the external world to be a certain way or for your family or friends or livelihood to be a certain controlled environment in order for you to feel happy and safe because that safety is an illusion. Eventually, at the moment of our death, we are all faced with only ourselves and our God, whatever that God is, science, Jesus Christ, Allah. It's only us, even if we're surrounded by all the things that we thought we needed to keep us safe and protected, we cannot take any of those things with us. The only thing we have is the courage and the love that we have generated in our heart to trust in the value of being open, receptive, and in the value of embracing change and new experience. So when a challenge arises, you have a choice to either say, that is too much work, that is too challenging, you're asking too much of me, I don't want to do it, which is a very limited choice. It's a very temporarily safe choice, but ultimately a very limiting choice because you will forever be tied to needing external things to be a certain way in order for you to feel safe. And the external world rarely gives us really what we want. And even then it's only temporary. So when you're faced with that challenge, if you instead say, I'm going to have courage to try something new. I'm going to have courage to open myself up. I'm gonna have courage to have unlimited thinking about the power of the potential of this human life I've been given. And rather than looking at challenge as a burden and a threat to what I need to be safe, I'm gonna look at it as the universe has given me a gift that I can grow and learn and discover and expand. And then all those things that I was trying to gain by force and control and uh, just limiting all of those things. If I open myself up to new experience, new ideas, new people, new ways of thinking, if I open myself up in that courage to be vulnerable, all of those things that I needed so much, they will naturally find me. And also new things that can support me will also rush in and I'll end up having even more of the very thing that I was trying to hold on to so tightly that I almost choked the life right out of it. And I will be gaining and practicing that ultimate skill of freedom, of needing things, of expectation, of needing the world to match my needs so that when I have to leave this world, and we all do, I can do so ready for the next adventure. I can do so with courage and an open mind and easily letting go of all of those things that defined my existence, which are temporary anyway. I can drop all of those 
and vibrate right out of my body and into a higher level of consciousness. That's the only kind of practice I'm interested in. And those are the types of relationships that I personally want to cultivate. Ones that open and expand and enrich. Because if I'm trying to hold on over here, I can't hold on to it eventually. It's eventually gonna slip out of my grasp or my grasp will fail. So why am I trying so hard to hold on and protect? Don't stay small people, open and grow. And if someone comes into your life or a situation comes in that's challenging you, you have a choice. Stay small, stay limited, and stay temporarily safe, but ultimately chained to the illusion that you have control. Or choose to open, be receptive, be courageous, and know that letting go and engaging in unlimited thinking will actually set you free and give you that happiness that you're looking for. Have courage, go big, or go home. Om Shanti, peace.